I've been using the touching academy for separation action since I started retouching and it has been working for me. And if you want to start using it or you want to learn more about it and understand it, this video is for you. Let me show you how to use it right now. So let's jump into Photoshop right now. So this is our Photoshop. I'm just going to um, remove everything I did. First of all, Retouching Academy is a Photoshop extension. So you have to get this extension before you can start using it. And this is what Retouching Academy looks like. So if you add Retouching Academy to Photoshop newly, all you have to do is come to your windows and just come to your extension. And you're going to see BT Retouch right here. Just click on it and it's going to pop up. And you can choose to add it right here if you want. Or you can choose to leave it anywhere you want in Photoshop. I can choose to move it here or I can choose to move it inside but I just choose to leave it in this part right here because this is how I like it. After that, I'm just going to use the focus separation and I'm just going to come to the focus separation right here and click on via Gaussian Blur. And for this type of image, I'm just going to choose a radius of about 6 for this kind of image or I'm going to use 8 for this kind of image. And I'll click on OK because I like to paint textures on my image. And if you want to learn how to get the right focus separation blur radius, I have a video for that. I'll be leaving a link to that video in the description below. You can see our focus separation right here created this new group for us. And inside this group, we have our low frequency colors and tones. We have our creative tone. We have our high frequency texture. And we have our high frequency texture copy. Do focus separation, we separated the textures and the colors on the image and all the colors for this image is under this low frequency. Why are the textures for this image is inside this high frequency texture right here? And what Retouching Academy did, they just separated it for us and they gave us this corrective tool right here which you can use a mixer brush to brush so that in case we make any mistake, we can easily correct it or fix it or rather just delete this uh, corrective tool and just create another new empty layer. So it's the same thing. So that's why I personally like this with Touching Academy because it gives me that flexibility to erase, remove any mistake and make it instead of just starting all over again. So since we already know the colors of this image is under the low frequency and the textures are on the high frequency, I'm just going to show you how to use it. So if you want to use this Touching Academy frequency portion and you want to remove the blemishes, first of all, make sure this is your high texture copy, which is this first one right here is selected and you pick your close thumb tool. Once you pick your close thumb tool, make sure you are using a soft run brush. Your mood is set to normal. Opacity is set to 100. Your flow is set to 100. Align is checked and current layer is checked. So once you get the so once you get those settings, all you have to do is just zoom in a little bit, sample from a close by area. And to sample, all you have to do is press on alternate on your keyboard. And you're going to see this sample icon right here. Just click on a close by area or a nearby area and just paint all the blemishes close to that place like that. Sample and just paint. And you can choose to increase and decrease the size of your brush. I'm going to increase the size of my brush a little bit. Sample and just brush like that. Sample and brush. Remember, we are working on the high frequency texture copy, which is this first one right here. So I'm going to sample and paint, sample and paint. And you can choose to increase and decrease your brush size according to the part you are working on. So let me just quickly show you the before and after of that simple thing we just did so you can see the effect. Let me zoom in. So this is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. You can see we successfully removed those blemishes there using just this high texture copy layer which is this first one right here. Now to make the image smooth, all you have to do is come to your corrective tune which is this layer right here so i'm going to rename this one to corrective tune because that's the name that come with this empty layer right here default name that's the touch academy renamed this empty layer is called corrective tune and i'm not going to rename it like that so if you want to make the skin look smoother just come to your mixer brush pick your mixer brush and for my mixer brush settings i'm using a soft one brush as well and uh, this place is checked and my mood is on custom my weight is on 20 my load is on 30 my mix is on 10, my flow is on 20, and sample or layer is checked. And the reason why sample or layer is checked is because we are working on an empty layer. So all the layer below this empty layer is going to sample, it's going to work with all the layers below this empty layer. And the layer below this corrective to right here is called the low frequency, which is the colors. So it's just going to work only on the colors. And the next thing you're going to do, make sure you hide this high frequency texture. So just click on this eye icon right here and hide it. And your image is going to be blurry like this. Once your image is blurry like this, just start brushing on the image. So just increase and decrease your brush size according to the parts you want to brush. And make sure you're brushing the shadow separately. 
and also make sure you are brushing the highlight separately like that so this is not a retouching tutorial this is just how you can understand the retouching academic focus separation or action okay let's click see our before and after let's just zoom in so these are before and these are after are before and after you can see the work of the missile brush is just making the face a little bit smoother before and after so basically this is how the focus separation in the touching academy works we have the low frequency and we have the corrective tool which we use our mixer brush to paint on so let's say i make a mistake in this corrective tool what i can do is just pick my eraser tool and just erase the, the part which i feel there's a mistake like that instead of deleting the whole focus separation and just start all over again i can just pick my eraser tool and just brush on the empty layer to just remove everything i just did or remove the place which i think there's a mistake and start all over again so that's why i really like this retouching academy with focus separation block it gives me that flexibility when i'm using my mixer brush to to paint on the image so that's one advantage why i like using this retouching academy with focus separation via gaussian block and if you learned it for this video or this video will be helpful to you make sure to give it a like so more people can see this video and learn from this video as well and if you want to learn how to retouch beauty headshots make sure to click on this video showing right here or right here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative